Now, we cut English language service of voice of Korea from Pyongyang, the capital of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. You're listening to VOK, Voice of Korea, News Now. Kim Do-kun, member of the Presidium of the Political Bureau of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and Vice President of the State Affairs Commission and Premier of the Cabinet of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, made a field survey of the agricultural work in South Hwangye Province. Looking around the farms in Sanchun, Batchun, Yeonam, Chungdam, Duksung, and Xinchang counties in their great efforts to successfully conclude this year's farming, he called for threshing, drying, and storing grains properly, not to lose any of them, and for pushing the heavy preparations for the next year's farming in a far-sighted way. He stressed the need to increase the area for cultivating wheat and barley and actively introduce advanced farming methods and thus decisively raise the unit area yield. The consultative meetings held on the spot discussed issues on further enhancing the responsibility and role of the agricultural officials and the enthusiasm of the agricultural workers in the province that takes a big share in the grain production of the country on taking material and technical measures for operating farm machines including combined rice thresher and mobile rice thresher at full capacity and on sharing and disseminating good experiences of high-yielding farmers. Earlier, Premier Kim inspected the Sunset Cement Complex and the construction site for establishing C1 chemical industry and took relevant measures. Different units in the field of machine building industry carried out their early assignments under the National Economic Plan ahead of schedule. Technicians and workers at the Pyongyang Bearing Factory remodeled the press and other equipment to improve the quality of products and increase the productivity and recycle the remnants of materials over fulfilling their yearly production plan. The Gyeongsang Insulator Factory remodeled the major parts of the induction furnace and introduced the rational jigs and equipment, achieving successes in the production of various kinds of insulators and electric equipment. The Dayan Electric Appliances Factory has made an active use of idle materials to fulfill its yearly transformer and motor production plan while considerably lowering the production costs. The Hamung Youth Electric Appliances Factory is making continued innovations in high spirits after finishing its yearly assignment under the National Economic Plan. Pintech University of Technology makes every effort to put the online education on a more scientific and practical basis. The online education faculty of the university, steadily improving the educational methods, has created more than 10 useful and superior teaching methods and put them into practice this year. The new teaching methods include those for combining the teaching of majors with that of foreign languages and for increasing the understanding of students in the way of lectures using virtual reality technology. They are of great practical significance in making the working people enrolled in the online education system positive learners and researchers. Tens of thousands of people are studying under the online education system of the university at present. This year alone, those who received the online education of the university have made many technical innovations and inventions conducive to the revitalization of production and the modernization of equipment in the industrial establishments. 190 of them became academic degree holders for their valuable research findings. Cocoon producers in South Hwangye province have achieved successes in production. Thirty cultural officials and workers in the province manured and tended the mulberry fields in a scientific and technological way to increase the production of mulberry leaves and introduce scientific breeding methods suited to the growth conditions of silkworms to gather large quantities of cocoons. They put the agriculture on a highly scientific and intensive basis that's surpassing the peak year level this year, the first year for implementing the new five-year plan. They are now pushing ahead with preparations for agriculture next year in a first-out while on the basis of their achievements and experiences. Officials and workers of the Pyongyang Timber Mill are making successes in the production of building materials. They increase the proportion of domestic production of finishing building materials while accelerating the production of furniture and fixtures to be sent to major construction sites. They also introduce various inventions in production for improving the quality of products in keeping with the recycling of byproducts from wood. 
You've been listening to VOK, Voice of Korea, Malcolm Song in Pyongyang. Diploma for the fishery sector. Unprecedentedly big haul of fish was made at the fishery stations of the Korean People's Army in the area of the East Sea of Korea in July 105 or 2016. In November that year, the respected Kim Jong Un gave field guidance to a number of fishery stations, including the August 25th fishery station. At the fishery stations, he found fish cascading in the outdoor landing places and blocks of frozen fish piled up like mountains in the cold storages. Looking at the gratifying scenes, he said he was very pleased to hear the report every day that the fishery sector of the People's Army caught a lot of fish. He also said with great satisfaction that more fish can be provided to the people and the service personnel. At the fishery station, he happened to see a socialist emulation draft on a wall. At that time, fishing emulation was in full swing in the fishery sector of the People's Army. An official told him that all the fishery stations have high enthusiasm to take the first place in the fishing emulation. Listening to him, Kim Jong-un suggested awarding trophy cups and diplomas to the winners. He added that the trophy cup should belong to the fishery station which won three consecutive victories in the emulation. He says how the enthusiasm for emulation became higher at the fishery stations. In December that year, trophy cups and diplomas were awarded to the exemplary fishery stations which caught a lot of fish. So far, you've been listening to an account under the title, Trophy Cup and Diploma for the Fishery Sector. This is Voice of Korea. Dear listeners, with this we conclude the English language service of Voice of Korea from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Voice of Korea presents its English language service for Europe between 15 and 16 hours UTC, between 18 and 19 hours UTC, between 21 and 22 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC on 7,570 kilohertz and 12,015 kilohertz. For North America, between 15 and 16 hours UTC, and between 13 and 14 hours UTC, on 9,435 kilohertz and 11,710 kilohertz. And for Northeast Asia, between 4 and 5 hours UTC and between 6 and 7 hours UTC, on 7,220 kilohertz, 9,445 kilohertz and 9,730 kilohertz. Goodbye, this is Pyongyang.